Jenkins is very commonly used application in any organization. And this is used mainly for automation server, continuous integration server or CI CD pipeline, which is called continuous integration or continuous deployment pipeline. And when you work in AWS environment or hybrid cloud environment, one of the very common project you get to deploy Jenkins server. And in this lecture, I'm going to show you every steps to build Jenkins server using Terraform. One of the key resource for building Jenkins server is IAM role and policies. And it is always encouraged to use role because role does not have a long term keys. And role is an IAM resource and IAM is a global service. And role is an IAM identity that has a specific permissions. Permissions are basically a policies. As I said, role does not have a long term credentials like IAM user has. That's why it is always encouraged to use. Role can be assumed by the service, user or applications. These are the resources we are going to create to build a Jenkins server. First, we're going to create EC2 instance and then update the user data to install Jenkins application, including the dependent software. And then we're going to create IAM policy document and policy resource. And then we're going to create IAM role resource and attach that policy to the role and assign that role to the EC2 instance. And that's all. And here is a simple example of a policy document which allows S3 list bucket, but for Jenkins server build, we have a separate policy documents. Um, I will get to that and we create a role and assign that policy to that role. And here is the architecture which we are going to implement using Terraform. We have an AWS account and in that AWS account, we have a virtual private cloud VPC. And in the VPC, we have a subnet, which is a public subnet. For the simplicity reason, we're using public subnet, but in a real scenario in the project, when you do, you should not use public subnet you because you don't want to expose your Jenkins server to external world. It would be always private subnet and in the public subnet, we're going to create a EC2 instance, which is Jenkins server and we will update the user data to install Jenkins application and we will create a security group resource attach that security group resource to the Jenkins server EC2 instance and we will assign the role to the EC2 instance and then we will log into the EC2 instance and verify the AWS commands without any credentials because the role itself takes care about that credentials. Let's jump into the lab. So we're going to create all the Terraform files from the scratch. And first we're going to create EC2 instance, then I am policy, I am role, and then assign that role to the EC2 instance, run Terraform plan and apply. So there is no files. First files we're going to create provider.tf and the next file we're going to create, let's create variables first, variable.tf, just define four variables, one for AMI, one for region, another one for project, just for tagging purpose and the my system, this is a public IP of my system so that I can allow in the security group to access that Jenkins server. Next resource we are going to create EC2 instance. Jenkins EC2. These are the resources I'm going to define here. And then we're going to define a tag just for the project name and then operating system Ubuntu. And then we're going to specify the user data for installing Jenkins server. Basically update all the package and then install Jenkins and Java because Jenkins requires Java and then firewall rules pip installation to install AWS CLI and then we install Terraform latest binary. In the real scenario, what you do is you are not going to install all the packages. I just wanted to show you what are the dependent packages you need. But in your project, what you do is you install all of these applications and create a AMI out of it and use that AMI for your Terraform code. That's all for EC2 instance. And let's go create policy then. I am policy.tf here it is and then i am role i am role.tf and then this role should attach that policy right so here is the i am role 
information each and every role has a assume role policy and you have to define one and in this case ec2 instance is assuming that role so the principal service is ec2 amazon aws.com we're going to define instance profile as a separate resource takes input as a role name so next resource we're going to create security group to attach to the ec2 instance let's do that security group i don't have much rules ingress rule defined now just i'm allowing 22 for ssh and 8080 for jenkins and egress everything is allowed so instance role has to be assigned we created the role we have to assign the role to the instance instance profile equals to this i am instance profile dot ec2 instance ec2 profile dot name we're going to attach security group for the ec2 instance interpolate the security group id and use it here all the codes are updated let's go to command line see all the files here no first terraform init all right terraform validate to validate the syntax looks like our good now terraform plan looks like all is well only the warning because you know terraform started deprecating the old syntax for the interpolation so it deprecating the interpolation only expressions like this all right so total it's creating five to add zero to change zero to destroy okay we're good so terraform apply proof so one thing is we are not using here a remote state bucket so all the states are stored locally just for the simplicity purpose all right instance is created let's go to console and see refresh there it is and it is a public ip let's log into the instance go logged in now i'm going to monitor user data the outputs of the commands we configured in user data f like this so it might take five to six minutes to finish all the commands so i'm going to fast forward that video for you installation is completed just to control c here you see there is no credential configuration if i run aws s3 ls it should give me the output oops operation access denied that's because i think um we have some problem with the policy let's look at the policy what's going there i think the thing we missed is we have not attached that policy to the role let's attach that attach that policy to the role i think that's the reason even though role is assigned but because policy is not attached so it's not working let's go to command line and run terraform plan and apply again so it's attaching the policy okay all right apply approve and now if i run aws as ls it should work there you go it worked so that was the mistake without any credential we are able to access um s3 services let's try ec2 instance whether we are able to access or not aws ec2 just a simple command describe instance minus minus region equals to us east one um i think it's the instances there you go you can also get the output as a text output equals to i think it's a minus minus put equals to text okay there it is here is the ec2 instance is the public ip i'm gonna access jenkins server http colon that ip colon 8080 i should be able to access it there you go jenkins server is up and running and it's asking me to provide this password i'm already logged into the instance i'm just gonna open that file and copy paste this and paste it here 
I'm going to choose install suggested plugins. It might take few minutes. Here you go. Here's a URL. I'm going to copy paste for future use. Okay. Save and finish. Start using Jenkins. You can create a new job. You can go for freestyle project or pipeline. I'm going to show you build server and I'm going to create freestyle project. Okay. Description is just building web server and this is a github project let's say i'm gonna use my github repo here here is my url okay this is a git code again this is a url and i'm going to add credentials i'm not providing any id or description information just say add credential is added i'm gonna select that credential here i'm going to build execute a cell let's say i'm just going to run a terraform plan and apply let's say i'm not going to run apply because it's going to create a resource again i just want to show you that the simple project how it works in this repo there are folders if i go to let's say i am project policy cd that folder and just wanted to see which folder i am in and then terraform plan terraform oh sorry terraform init terraform plan i'm not running apply here there you go if i build now it's going to build let's go to the log there you go it's downloading and it's successful it ran terraform plan instead of terraform plan if you just do terraform apply after that it's going to create that stack policy and role the stack i specified in the job and also one part is missing most of the i mean it's a very common use case is to have continuous integration ci so in order to do ci you can use github webhook so that you know we don't have to manually run this job every time so whenever someone check in their code in github automatically the build process should start so the way you do that you just go to the manage jenkins and you need to install a plugins go to available one search for github go to github integration that's the one you have to install download and, and install after restart go i'm gonna select restart jenkins it might take few minutes to comes up again it's installing the plugins while it's doing the installation let's configure the webhook on the github side so you go to that repo and go to settings that's where we're going to create webhook i have the old one i'm gonna delete and it's asking me to log in again so add webhook and in the url we use that url copied the url earlier i'm gonna use that url slash you just say github webhook so when you say github webhook it basically when it request goes to jenkins i'm sending the request send the request to github plugin and i'm gonna select application json no secret i'm gonna do only the push event to github whenever any check-in happens push happens to the github repo it's gonna trigger that job add webhook and so another thing we need to do is we need to allow the security of the group of the instance github webhook is trying to access the ec2 instance in aws so aws ec2 instance security group should allow the traffic from the github webhook ips so in order to do that there is a website called api github.com meta there there are three ips you need to 
and these IPs keep changes okay so for now we're gonna allow traffic from these three IPs to the security group of that EC2 instance where Jenkins is running we're gonna update in the Terraform code always we're allowing for 8080 run Terraform plan and apply I just need to approve yes so we already did a build right now we're gonna configure trigger in that job here is a configuration so what we're gonna do we said it's a github project we said it's a git URL and then we're gonna say build trigger I will say github hook trigger right and every time it's going to trigger i would suggest to clear the workspace and download the repo again before it um, runs the job that's all just say apply and saved i'm in the same github repo i am role policy and what i'm going to do is i'm going to update the tag let's say i'm going to update i'm going to create this tag project i am row okay git status i'm gonna push this change git git commit minus m update tag oops something okay okay git push master so as i'm pushing this change to the github it should trigger a there you go it's triggered the build job number two here and if i go to that log it is running that terraform and it is successful see that's how you configure webhook make sure couple of things one is allow security group right whitelist the security group so that github can make a post request to your jenkins right and then second thing is um configure your webhook in your github repository and the third is in the configuration of the job you have to trigger you have to configure the trigger right if you go to configure and you have to check mark this trigger option this build triggers right i hope this helped you to understand how to write your terraform code to build your jenkins server now once jenkins server is up you can create all kinds of automation ci cd pipelines and if you are in devops you probably working day and night on this jenkins server but it is very common i thought it may be helpful yeah, because it's very common requirement to build a jenkins server and if you have a terraform code to build a jenkins server it would be very easy to update the code and and update the policy roles it will be in one place and very easy to manage your jenkins server thanks for listening and i will see you in the next real world project